All right, good morning, ladies and gentlemen. It's Mr. Ayim Oskesta again, and we're back in our farm here in Lagos. The farm where I made the video, One Great Tip on Snow Farming, and I was talking about how you should have 100 pens, stock 25 pens with 1,000 snails, and you have 75 pens that should remain to accommodate the young snails, and that will buy you some time before you start thinking about expansion. Obviously, as you can see today, uh, we don't really have much time for that because the farm is currently filled up. So we are still on our review videos on most of the farms we set up. This farm is just six months, uh, six or seven months as well. There are a lot of farms we did within the past six, seven months. And you can see what we have here. We have exactly 14,000 plus snails produced already on this farm. So um, I'm sure the video, when we made that video, one great tip on snow farming, it hasn't been more than five months, uh, if I'm not mistaken. So the farm was stocked. I think that was done two months after stocking. So the farm was stocked exactly five, uh, sorry, six or seven months ago. So uh, we are currently out of space. So we still have some very safe. We're currently out of space. We have about 14,000 snails. 100 pens, the capacity normally should be 10,000 snails. But because of the high productivity of the snails, we've not even gotten up to that one year mark and we have an excess of 14,000. So uh, today we are actually bringing out the snails so we can actually do some sorting for the sizes as our manner is. We usually sort the sizes, you can see some of them have outgrown others while they are still in the same pen. You can see one snail carrying two snails in his mouth. So that tells you the difference in size. So that's why we've done that. Also, another opportunity this offers us is to till the soil. For instance, when we do sorting, we have to till the soil for the young snails. Because where we have the young snails, since there are no eggs, we don't do that weekly tilling of soil we do for the breeding pens. So it is only when we are doing sorting, we take advantage of that time to till the soil where the young snails are, to keep the soil in good condition. Because if we only continue pouring water inside because there are no eggs and we don't till the soil at all, the soil will become very compact at some point and that will affect production. So. You can as well till the soil where you have your young snails once in a month or once in two months. Just move the snails exactly what you do for the breeding snails. Move them to one side, till the other part and move them over there and till the other side. So the tilling of the soil, apart from sorting for air, it also helps to keep the soil in good condition thereby boosting production. So you can see most of the pens are open. Everywhere is filled up currently. Uh, each of these pens is supposed to be carrying a maximum of 150 young snails But right now we have close to 400 and some pens And that's because we don't have space But uh, hopefully we start working on an expansion We are in communication with the owner of the farm So we are actually trying to see how we can look out for a space somewhere to expand the farm Because what we have here is already uh, too much for the farm as we don't have much space for that so um we're still on our series so we just felt we should at least give you a shout with what we've done here so far 1000 snows six months 14,000 plus snows produced so uh it's been well managed the farm is been run properly and also everything has been put in place for us to do it uh, properly for them so that's the much we can show you for now until we come your way again next time my name remains mr amos kester if you will the ceo of kester remos consultancy services limited so if not for you to reach us the number to call is plus two three four eight zero six eight five two five zero three two God bless you and bye bye. Uh, okay, uh, let's. Uh